Hello there, welcome to the Stephen School Alchemy YouTube channel. The main focus of my channel is about alchemy. However, I do branch out into some other subjects too that I'm interested in. And also because um, it helps the channel to grow. So I'm interested in photon beams, light beams to be exact. I want to get into some experiments with photon beams and later on actually some lasers lasers are an area of interest for me so i have here two vintage high-powered spotlights i'm going to get this one out of the box here these are 800,000 candle power 15 foot coil cord for multi-purpose use it says unbelievably tough. Halogen spotlight, 800,000 candle power, is what it says on the box. And you have two of them. They're vintage. I've tested them. They both work. This one is in like new condition. This one is uh, in good condition. So what I want to do in the area of photon beams Let me check my camera here. Okay, so I'm going to do an experiment with photon beams. And this live stream. I also have a camera going along with the live stream. So I can start working on this, live streaming it on YouTube. And then eventually, the footage from the second camera, I can edit it into videos. So the idea is I want to take these two spotlights apart and connect them together. I also have some other things here. I have some pieces from a telescope. And I have some lenses from antique movie projectors. And I just had those lenses out here. Let's see where I put them. These are my lenses from Antique Movie Projectors. Bell and Howell Vintage Movie Projectors. Pretty old. And these were the projection lenses. And this is from a telescope. And this also is the big end lens from a telescope. These pieces may incorporate I've never taken these spotlights apart so I've got to try to figure that out how they come apart I would think this piece unscrews. Either that or it snaps off. I'm gonna have to get a tool
I've got a couple of tools here. Of course, I can never seem to find the tool I want when I want it. What I really wanted was a flathead screwdriver. I've got something here that'll work. There we go. Now, it looks like this piece pops off. It also looks like I need three hands to do this work. Uh -huh. I would have worn my glasses, I might have been, been able to see there's little screws here. one of them out. So the idea is the spotlight is bright, very bright. 800,000 candle power as listed. But I want to see, experiment with intensifying the beam. Intensifying it, magnifying it, making it more powerful, more concentrated. Now, that's how the thing comes apart. So this ring comes off. And this dome comes out. It looks like the wires unplug, which I am going to work on unplugging them. There we go. That's what I wanted out of this one. There's the empty shell. Setting that aside. This one has a clear lens attached that I wanted to remove.
great. That's real glass. The glass lens is removed. Right, so there's the inside of the dome. It's got a bulb in there. I do know the bulb is removable. It does come out because they are replaceable. Easy spring loaded. There's the bulb. I know that bulb has got some high power. And you know what? I think I could actually get a more powerful bulb than this to install in here. Quite possible. Now that we know how that comes apart. Okay. The thing that I want to do is attach this here. This bright is very, this light is very, very bright. Very bright. The inside of this is reflector material. So I want to double them up, make an enclosed egg, if you will, an enclosed dome of the reflector material. This housing doesn't fit right for me to tuck both of them inside there. However, this extra dome can attach to the front right here. This should concentrate the super bright light that comes out of this spotlight. This is the prototype construction phase testing. I'll be able to try it out when it's dark. I already know this bright, this light is super, super, super bright. It's very bright. But I think it's going to get a whole lot brighter.
There are other spotlights that are advertised as 18 million candle power. This one's 800,000 candle power. So after the initial concentrating of the light and magnifying it, I could probably change the bulb and make this thing a whole lot brighter than it already is. I bought these spotlights to do this experiment with, so it's kind of a cold day today. I was going to go outside and do some stuff, but it's pretty cold, so I figured I might as well get these things out and do some YouTubing. Get the live stream going, get a secondary camera going, get some footage, make some videos. It looks like I'm almost done attaching this uh, accessory dome reflector. of tape for good luck. Okay. I have connected the secondary dome. Now, this is a lens from an, a vintage movie projector oh, I want to see about attaching it there and then I'm also kind of wondering if I stack them up if it intensifies the power In lasers, they call this, uh, putting a lens like this, they call it a beam expander. Adding a beam expander. So I'm concentrating the light between two reflector domes and adding a beam expander.
strengthen it up with a bit more tape. This is a prototype photon beam. And this is just the beginning stages. I'm probably going to do some more experiments with it. Maximizing the light output. My heater's kicking on. It's cold today. If it was a bit warmer, I'd probably be outside doing some different stuff than this. But this has been on the back burner for a while. And it's only going to get more interesting experimenting with this thing. This photon beam. It's interesting because it's a portable photon beam. It plugs into the cigarette lighter of the car. With the engine running, it gets all that power from the alternator. It's getting kind of strong there. Eventually I'll get the 18 million candle power bulb and try to stuff that in here and make it fit, try to make it fit. Now, now that I have that in place, this is a lens from a very large telescope. Let's see how that looks centered right over this. How does that look? The photon beam. Imagine. So this, as I said, is an 800,000 candle power bulb in here. But I can get another one that is listed at 18 million candle power. How would that be, stuffing a bulb like that in here into something that's already ridiculously bright. There's the power cord. It's going to be fun testing this thing out.
and it's going to be fun making it a whole lot brighter. I may need to get some duct tape for a more secure connection. This thing should reach far, far into the night sky. Will it beam the planets? Will it stir up the aliens in outer space? Will it light up the moon? Illuminate the solar system. Photon beam is going to become quite powerful. I could calculate the numbers on the bulb and figure out how many lumens and all that. However, after adding the beam expander and the telescope lens, I would have no way to mathematically calculate just how powerful this thing is. It's interesting looking and it's becoming more interesting looking the more I work on it. I'm going to need to invest in some laser glasses. This, this is going to be bright. It's going to take a lot of tape to put the big telescope lens on there. And like I say, I may need to go over the outside of it again with duct tape to strengthen it.
Photon beams are beams of light which energy particles travel through. It reminds me of the uh, photon torpedoes from Star Trek. This will be a continuous beam operated by a switch. Looks like my GoPro is shutting itself off again. All right. I don't know what it is with GoPros, they seem to overheat. So I'm going to take the battery out. The battery is out of the GoPro, no more beeping. Upgrading my photon beam. Kind of like the bat signal from Batman.
attaching the telescope lens to the photon beam. We're starting to get some strength to it. My GoPro Hero 5 Black waterproof action camera seems to be acting up a bit. I've had that camera for a long time and it's been through a lot of stuff. I've had it underwater. I've had it mounted on remote control vehicles that have gone through crashing and rolling and flipping. I've had it mounted on my motorcycle. All that vibration probably is not good for the camera. And they don't make things like they used to. Even the camera in my cell phone. I bought my cell phone because the camera in it is supposed to be so great. But it has trouble focusing. It blurs. And that has started acting up too. Maybe next time I get a phone, I should try the iPhone. I've got a camera on my front door too, a ring doorbell camera, but mine is the uh, security floodlight model. I could make some more videos with that too. telescope lens is starting to it's starting to get kind of secure on there I don't want it to be flimsy
movie projector lens inside a telescope lens. Mounted onto an 800,000 candle power spotlight. How powerful will this be? Probably pretty powerful. Probably pretty bright. Well, that's definitely definitely taking on some strength to it. It feels strong. It's not moving around. Of course, I do want to be sure. I don't want it to be flimsy and falling apart when I'm trying to test it. It seems to be soothing putting the tape on here. It's like ASMR, therapeutic, calming, soothing, wasting large amounts of tape. If only I had another roll of it. A few more rolls. I'm probably gonna need more when I experiment with changing the bulb to a brighter bulb. Tape is cheap. Yeah, we'll get some more. When I end up getting the 18 million candle power bulb, I'll get some, some more tape. That'll be some time after testing this beast.
That feels good and sturdy. Very sturdy. The strength is superior. I was going to get another GoPro, but you know what? I have two of them and I like them a lot. But with the overheating, sometimes one will stop working and it'll show a wrench. Sometimes they overheat. I wonder if I should dig out my old Sony Cybershot camera and give that one a whirl. I hear a lot of people online complaining about the GoPros heat overheating too, even the new ones. I want to do as good of a job as I can, so it looks like I'm using pretty much all of this roll of tape. But this thing has come out nice and sturdy, which is what I want. We can see the other lens inside the uh, projector, the vintage projector lens inside of the large telescope lens. They're not lined up perfectly. I'm not sure that that matters for testing a prototype such as this. If the results of the testing are good and I continue experiments with this, then I probably We'll develop a method to get the lenses aligned more perfectly as well as put a more powerful bulb 
in the unit in the photon beam the photon blaster That's probably strong enough. How does it look? It's got an on off switch here. Plugs into the automobile cigarette lighter here. It's daytime now. To really test this thing, it's gonna need to be nighttime. My photon beam. Photon blaster, if you will. The photon blaster. Eight hundred thousand candle power bulb. The reflector dome is doubled up. Two connected together, condensing the light, and then adding a vintage projector lens as the beam expander, and then over that, the lens from a large telescope. I can't just turn it out, turn out the lights and plug it, you know, test it in the house because it's 12 volt. I don't have, you know, I have to plug that into the cigarette lighter. This should be fairly bright. The testing is going to have to be done in a separate video. because it is uh, daytime now. I've got a spare bulb. The 18 million candle power bulb looks much, much bigger, much different than this. Well, look, I can store it here like so. Perfect.
And we're out of tape. That's all the tape there is. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.